Dang, drummer took up the whole room. Wait a minute, it's my drum kit. Oh, oops. Okay, so, uh, let's get this thing all set up. Yeah, something like that. Gives you a nice view. Now if I can get in there without crashing and banging into everything. see me fairly well. Not a lot of room back here, but... Pretty cool. Okay, so I got my SG3 here. Um, today's video, um, why do we play guitar? Why do we do it, guys? Like, what makes us so in, uh, so basically with it? Hang on, let's see if we can get this. This may turn out to be a bad idea, not sure yet. What makes us so uh, captivated by the guitar? What is our goals with the guitar? Uh, and I guess that's a different answer for everybody, but it's it's something that, you know, at some point in your guitar playing journey, you might say, okay, I've got 29,000 guitars in the house. Adequate, you know, like an adequate, you know, normal, rational supply of guitars. And you play them all, you play them all quite a bit. But what do you want to do with it? Like, what is your goal with your guitar? Is it to play live? Is it to record? Is it to just uh, learn music theory to the end of time? Is there, is it to learn how to shred? Is it just to, you know, just relax with the simple. Or is it a little more. Whatever it is, doesn't matter. Like, doesn't really matter what it is that you want to do with it, uh, but you have a plan to get there. And I think that's something that a lot of guitar players don't think about is uh, you learn a little bit of stuff and you hit a plateau. And then when you hit that plateau, you kind of just stay there. Hits the plateau, right? And then at some point you, you, you start, ah, oh, this is getting boring. You know, it's, I can't seem to get out of the rut I'm in, uh, and, and you can't figure out why. Well, you, you got to have kind of a goal of what you want to accomplish. So I'll just put this beautiful SG3 back. Oh, taking up the freaking ceiling on the top of my guitar. Uh, I'm going to grab something else here. Uh, what did I grab? I'll grab the sailing string. In 2019... Uh, I had an idea that I wanted to get more metal. More metal than I've ever had in my metal in life. That's probably a good little drum roll right there. So what I was saying is, I, 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 in 2019, I had this idea. I wanted to metal. More metal than I've ever metaled before. get heavy, right? Whatever, anyway, all that. Whatever it was, but I knew I needed something different. Whatever it was to be able to do that really heavy stuff. So I started thinking about my guitar playing, the guitars I had and stuff like that, and started going on the, the journey of how many guitars can a man amass in a lifetime. 
uh, and uh, you know still be considered rational. Uh, looks like time. I'm gonna have to wrap this up pretty soon. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, but the point I, I came to was that I knew I wanted to go with a seven string guitar way just because it was something new and the eight string. So I even have the eight string up, but I broke a string on it. So now I have two seven strings. Uh, just de facto that I broke the string on the eight string. And but what I learned was that it wasn't just the guitar that had to change. Like uh, changing to the extended range guitar helped, but I was still the pentatonic guy, you know, the 1980s pentatonic guy. Uh, every metal guy was a pentatonic guy, pretty much. Uh, and I didn't want to do that anymore. I wanted to get more... I wanted to get out of the pentatonic stuff, right? So I had to make a change of how I played and the only thing that really helps you is music theory, right? So I know a lot of people kind of get a little bit, uh, I just don't want to run over time here, uh, a little bit crazed when it comes to music theory. They think it's too impossible, too hard, and stuff like that, but it really isn't. It takes a while before you get it. But once you do, before you know it, you're like, you're doing all those sweet pickings things. No, that shredding and stuff like that. And you can practice that, but you start with the theory. And changing your theory can change them and, and changing the modes and all that, I find changes how you play a lot. And you grow as a player, you never forget what you learned before, but you can add on and then you have an idea of where you're going. So that was the first thing. What did I want to do? And what I wanted to do was become more metal, uh, going from hard rock to metal. And that, that not, once I made that choice, then it was easy to plan out how I was going to do it. So figured that's, I'll leave the video at that. So I hope you guys, uh, you know, just a little food for thought. Tell me, you know, did you plan out how you're going to play your guitar? Did you change from one style to the next? I'd like to hear from you. Anyway, there we go.